Certainly worked itself, uh, way worked itself uh, back into my day. So um, let's get on with this. It's uh, 16 hours and 59 minutes into the day of Friday, August 22nd, 2014. Our timestamps are important here because this type of a vlog is a uh, part of a journal. This part of a research journal. It forms part of the ad hoc notes uh, that I do have. I use it for Insta vlogs uh, that eventually will be become part of some more significant research. So uh, <laughs> uh, the time and day stamp is important here as we go along on our journey. Uh, it ends up that the year is seems to be shaving up a lot quicker for me that this year than it did last year. Normally, uh, I am at the point where I would be. Uh, sometime uh, mid-September, beginning of uh, October. So I'm basically a month, month and a half ahead of schedule. So that's actually pretty good in terms of where my projects are, projects are at. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can continue on that road and um, make our improvements. Uh, I do have some work to do tonight that uh, we'll see how it goes because I, I'm going to be going out to study my Greek. And at the same time, um, because I have to go early with my dad, I want to bring my office with me to see how much work I can get done on my portable office, my micro office, so my, my, my mobile office. So uh, that's basically it's what I have here at my research desk on an Android. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, I've been working on it steadily. It's, it's significantly improved from uh, last time. Uh, but uh, obviously, there's often more work needs to be done, so uh, that's certainly going to be the case today. I'm going to sort of see and assess uh, how things will work out today, what I can get done and what I can't get done. Uh, the morning worked out pretty good because this is actually midday right now. I got up around uh, uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and I'll be working till late again tonight, till about 2 o'clock in the morning. I typically have about a 12 hour day, so that's not that bad. But the research is definitely spreading out, it's de definitely going in a lot of different areas. And so now uh, we'll look forward to, as uh, things move along, look forward to up up uploads not only BTS vlog but Insta vlogs as well. And uh, there's also the Talk Back Live. That seems to be starting to come into schedule as well. So at night now, I have an issue on the editing bay. I've got to work on the editing bay. Uh, get that working and functioning again. The, the whole upgrade to 14.4 really uh, knocked me off. So, uh, <laughs> but, you know, things are slowly starting to get back to normal. And we'll see what happens this week in terms of... Uh, uh, well, not this week, because it's the end of the week, but uh, for next week anyways. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening in terms of our overall progress. Uh, it should be something pretty significant, because oh, right, now, right now I'm still on a path that I'm making progress, what I call a significant amount of progress. Uh, and it got, that significant amount is not necessarily the volume, but in many cases it's often a direction of research that or progress that is actually occurring so uh, that certainly is the case here so anyways I will be vlogging later on tonight I will talk to you then so yeah goodbye it is time for another segment of the BTS vlog yeah. it's uh, 14 hours and 31 minutes into the day of Monday August 25th uh, 2014 yeah I'm just now getting up. Let's uh, take a look. That's the way I, why I look the way I look. Uh, I'm just 
starting my day. Uh, as you know, my day rotates. It doesn't stay fixed in any one particular point in time. And that's what's happening. Uh, I try to... I try to... Uh, uh, vlog, I've been trying to vlog more faithfully. What happens is you get a good couple of days, and then all of a sudden, then sun pops up, things get very busy, and you can't vlog. And that's kind of what's been happening, is that things initially went well. Just give me one minute here. We were vlogging. We were vlogging very well. And then things just got really busy. And part of it has to do is that uh, my new study schedule is coming in quicker than I expected it to come in. And there's a lot to study. The Greek is coming along well. Uh, there's more to study there. The, I'm studying uh, ancient music as well. The work, um, the developer, the development work on uh, Kubuntu Remix. That's coming along. Uh, the the electronics bench and uh, the project Tesla. That's coming along. In other words, things that weren't supposed to be coming online until much later on are start, starting to come online now and fully online so uh, <laughs> uh, there just, just isn't enough time in the day to do you know do the laundry do the dishes uh, do the work on the kitchen diner uh, and everything else and, and so uh, uh, what happens by the time I get to the end of the day I've forgotten to vlog and when I do remember to vlog I'm just too tired and that's kind of how things go I mean this this is why this is back to, uh, this is uh, uh, behind the scenes it, you know it's raw and unedited it's supposed to be like this uh, and uh, so you're seeing the way th the things the way they are and the cool thing is is that uh, uh, I've started seeing Cassandra from Nerds R L starting to vlog again, and I posted her. You know, I, I commented that you know uh, I, she started vlogging uh, just as I went on uh, on my uh, sort of work vacation. I go every year. I go to do uh, I go on a scientific expedition to the north woods of Ontario, and I spend about three weeks in the wilderness. And I did that this year, and it was a, it was a good trip. But uh, as I said, I got back, checked to see what I had missed, what had gone on for the three weeks that I had been gone, and lo and behold, I found out that Cassandra started uh, vlogging again. She did a vlog every day. I know a lot of people are doing uh, called vlogist, but I'm away for a large chunk of uh, of August, so I don't get to do vlogist because. I'm just simply not here, and there's no Wi-Fi up where I am, so uh, there's no internet. There's not actually there's actually nothing up there, so <laughs> uh, that's the way that ends up going. Uh, and so I was, I was, I was say, I, you know, I commented to her that was the, the, the I, you know, I was happy to see her back, and I caught up on all her videos. I spent the whole bunch of time watching her videos to catch up, and it was interesting. This is, you know. Cassandra Bertelli and all those uh, the other vloggers have, re have replaced my regular TV watching. I don't watch shows like Pretty Little Liars or anything like that. You, even uh, my cartoons, I get them, I get them, I get them here as well. So my leisurely time, um, my, my leisurely time uh, uh, watching instead of watching documentaries all the time and watching uh, research videos. Uh, I'm taking my notes. I just uh, watch regular shows, or, or basically that's the, the YouTube vloggers uh, are my primary. Uh, then there's my cartoons and the in the anime. That's uh, where I uh, spend a large chunk of my time. Uh, anyways, our time is up for now. I want to keep this as short as possible. Uh, I'll talk to you later. I should be uh, I should be starting to get back into my vlogging again today. So we'll try that. All right, take it easy.
Well, I thought I'd do an end of the day uh, vlog. Uh, trying to be good, trying to get the vlogs done. So, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is currently 0 hours and 56 minutes into the day of Monday, August, no, Tuesday, August 26, 2014. I'm dealing with an inner ear infection, so I've got to, uh, it's got a little hard to talk because it hurts. Uh, the day went well. It, my school schedule was definitely started early. Uh, I didn't expect to start this early. And that's right, it's back to school time for me as well. Uh, my life is basically uh, uh, like school. I spend most of my time studying. That's how research is done. And in many ways, it's a lot like being in school. There's projects to do. There's uh, uh, the, If the projects are large, you break them up into sub-projects. And hopefully the sub-projects that you have, if you've done the breakup right, um, will overlap between other projects so you can do you can actually work on more than one project by completing a sub project and that sub project will have parts common to all these different areas so uh, and that's definitely what's happening uh, with my Greek my Greek is actually improving I was able to make a uh, an important stride uh, today I was at church I was uh, listening to the Greek trying to follow along but the thing is sometimes you, you, you particularly when you're looking for things, if you come into in, into uh, 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 fall something in the middle, you got to kind of find out where you are. And I didn't know if I'd be able to find where we were in the, in, in the Greek book, in, the, in the, the service book that I have, and it's all in Greek. But I was able to do that. I was able to find out where we were, and then I was able to fall along. So. Uh, that's a yay for me. Uh, the next step is to work on, uh, I'll do tomorrow night as well. There will be another service tomorrow night. And i got to start taking notes now. So I have to start doing my note taking. And I also have to work on pronunciation of the words a bit better. I have to work, work on um, the groupings of letters and how they sound. I can sort of sound things out. I'm doing all right with that. But it... There's a lot of extra work that needs to be done to sort of really bring things along. So uh, it's a matter of uh, uh, identifying the phonics, the, the different components of the words, and how they're sounding. And there's, there's a commonality to this thing. There's uh, you know, my, my, uh, my bizarre uh, uh, surprise that there's a lot of pronunciation similarities between Japanese and Greek. So I was surprised to see that. Um, otherwise, right now, uh, I'm just finishing watching some some uh, TV, my uh, YouTube TV, and I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. All right, night. Well, there's no time like the present to vlog, so I'll do that now. Uh, been falling off my schedule pretty significantly. Uh, I'm now operating in, once again, uh, I'm operating uh, in, uh, in emergency mode. And that's kind of because I've got an inner ear infection here that I'm trying to deal with. Uh, it's been ha happened since uh, Tuesday night. And that it's interfered with everything. So, uh, <laughs> it slowed me up for a couple of days, but the, so right now I said I'm operating in emergency mode. That's the uh, mode where uh, the only essentials get done and uh, everything else comes in after that. So let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, oh no, it's one hour and 42 minutes into the day of Friday, August 29th, 2014. So, I've been, watch, been catching up on my vlogs, I've been watching a lot of Cassandra, I've been watching uh, a lot of, you know, Nerds Are Out, uh, watching a number of Tiffany vlogs, uh, Pit of Last, that's, uh, that's, uh, the Pandominians, or Pan Pandominians, or whatever, I, I can't remember what they are. I've been watching a lot of these vlogs anyways, and, uh, my, uh, if I can get my editing bay fixed, uh, I should be able to try that out tomorrow. 
then uh, we should be ha we sh should be having uploads again as of uh, uh, as of uh, August. Uh, oh, it's not this. Uh, I'm, I made a mistake on my time and date stamp. It's one hour and forty three minutes in the day of Saturday, August thirtieth. So basically, later on, later on today or tomorrow, I should have. Uh, should be, I might be able to put something up depending on the, if my, all, all the problems on the editing bay are dealt with. Uh, if that's the case, then we should have the vlogs starting to move along. Uh, the BTS vlogs, anyways, uh, starting to move along as of Monday. I think that would be, be the first. I think it's September 1st. Yeah, Monday's going to be September 1st, so... So sorry for us, we should be back trying to clear the back backlog and getting back on schedule again with things. But uh, that sort of remains to be seen. My diner is going pretty well. It's, it's, it's actually in functioning form. It's now I just have to sort of uh, work on it so that I can film more in there. So otherwise, the menu is going well. The uh, different dishes that I, uh, that, I, that I want are being produced. And I'm pretty much happy with it. So. Anyways, my, I'm getting tired. I'm not going to go to bed yet. I have to have something to eat. I'm hungry. I'm going to have a chicken souvlaki sandwich. Uh, and it's not... Uh, this is the way I found to make a chicken souvlaki is I, I buy a whole chicken, cut it up, barbecue it, uh, Greek style, with some le lemon oil, lemon oil, lemon oil, uh, oregano. Is your marinade. You barbecue the chicken. And then after barbecue and the chicken, you can actually freeze the chicken. And I have the way I have, I have a process of using a double boiler to uh, reheat the chicken. It takes about 14 minutes to, re to do that. And it produces a, very, a perfect uh, chicken. You can't tell it was ever frozen if you do it uh, with the, uh, the double boiler. If you do a reheating with a double boiler, uh, it comes out perfect. I, I had it last night. I actually discovered this while I was up at uh, up at Mars Alpha. I needed to uh, prepare some full frozen foods, so I said, "Let me just think think of how I get to do that." And so I tried on my uh, my uh, butane stove. Worked out very well, very well. I'm using the electric stove here because it's uh, uh, it, it does take longer on the electric stove. It's, it's seven minutes is done for the uh, butane stove. Here it takes about 14 minutes, twice as long. Uh, but it's same result, but I'm not using fuel, not spending the money on the fuel, so uh, I'd rather do it that way. Uh, anyways, uh, so I'm going to make myself a chicken souvlaki sandwich and uh, watch some more YouTube. Right now I'm watching uh, uh, tip vlogs. So that's what I'm catching up on. <laughs> Alrighty. It is time to vlog once again. Yeah, it, it, I'm starting to get my thing back, uh, my 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 schedule back in order again. Uh, I te did a test video, a test um, shop. Kind of what I did is I took, I commented on Pratili on a on a Pratili video and uploaded as a video comment to see whether or not the editing bay was working or not, and it worked. Everything went up fine. I've got things more or less configured the way they should be. Now it's a matter of uh, getting things back in order again. So uh, <laughs> that's kind of what I'll be working on for the next few days. So, anyways, let me get a time and date stamp. It is one hour and 23 minutes into the day of Sunday, August 31st, 2014. And I'm still dealing with the ear infection. I posted an Instagram picture of myself uh, with the getup that I'm wearing to uh, to deal with it. Basically, what happens when you have an ear infection, in addition to the infection itself, is, is there, there's a lot of not only fluid buildup, but you also have wax buildup in the ear as well. And sometimes you do have to take extra measures to get the wax out. And uh, I use something known as, as as a saline flush. It's basically a, that's basically uh, salt water. It's it's uh, you can choose how much salt to put in. You can't put too much salt in, but 
uh, there's a variation as to the amount of salt that you want to put into it. But anyways, uh, what you want to do is you want to keep the ear and the head warm. And this softens the wax, because there's wax up in here. And the wax at a certain temperature starts to warm up. It starts to get soft and starts to get melty and starts to run. Particularly when the presence of salt water. So what I did is uh, I've taken uh, this uh, called a Khalifa. It's a, it's a headdress worn by uh, uh, men in the Middle East. Uh, so there's mine. And I did get this from the Middle East. I, uh, d then I just crossed it over like this. Now, if you've got an original uh, uh, Khalifa, and this is, mine is from uh, the Middle East, it's from Palestine, uh, then what ends up happening is it's made of cotton, a good cotton type of cotton, that it traps the heat. So it acts as, it acts as a very nice hat. And what I do is I take a table, uh, a, a, a washcloth. This is a nice soft one. Again, 100% pure cotton. And you simply pull uh, the Khalifa back. Make sure this is around your ear. Once it is around the ear. Go like that, and then you go to bed. That's, or if you're staying up, you can stay up and leave like that. And what happens after doing the wash and, you, and the, your head starts to heat up, uh, the drippage, whatever drips out of the ear, including the wax and everything, will drip onto the cloth. And I'll give an example of uh, what actually comes out. It's if you can see the here. These are all these black dots here. These sort of uh, if you look on the, the on the on the cloth, it's dotted. Well, that's all from the earwax coming out. <laughs> and that's how you know what the problem you actually have is whether or not that cloth comes out clean or if it comes out molted like that. If it comes out molted like that, uh, that means you've got a lot of wax filled up. And you may have to do more than one treatment. And that's sort of my case here is I'm going to have to do more than one treatment. So I'll do another treatment uh, Sunday night, tomorrow night, uh, before I go to bed. So I might be wearing that in tomorrow night's uh, vlog so we'll see how it ends up working out uh anyways i think that's gonna be it for now i'm gonna finish watching uh some uh, uh youtube i've got i'm going through my subscriptions and uh we already watched north Zarella, i watched bretelli i watched kitty's mama uh i watched more christy uh it's hard to sort of keep up with every, everybody that i've got on here so <laughs> uh, bit by bit. All right, take it easy. Time for a quick uh, afternoon, early evening uh, vlog. Sort of middle of the day type of thing. So I'm trying to vlog more. I'm trying to be get you guys more involved. Like I don't go to places that are exciting, so it has to be what, what I'm doing here as I'm doing it, and so. It's not going to be that I'm taking around a lot of different places or uh, we're going to have a fun time together. It's just, I'm here at the research desk 95% of the time. This is what my life is like. Uh, I like it. I enjoy the uh, anime that I watch on my TV. I watch. I enjoy watching, you, uh, watching YouTube, uh, a lot of different vloggers. So anyways, uh, let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 17 hours and 44 minutes into the day of Sunday, August 31st, 2014. Yeah, I'm slowly but surely getting the uh, bugs worked out of the 1404 uh, editing desk. Uh, that's right next to me. Uh, there is still the audio issue. There's an audio issue there that's with, with uh, Caden Live now. There seems to be a lag with, uh, 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 with the new Caden Live. An audio, an audio and video, uh, an audio, and the audio and video is out of sync. I gotta see if there's a way to correct that, and that's what I have to work on tonight. So I did one test already, and now the second test has to come uh, later on. I just did some moving around, so I'm not gonna do that right now. What I'll do is I'll probably end up going to bed uh, for a bit of a nap, and then after that, uh, I will. Uh, 
get up and start uh, tinkering around again, seeing if I can sort of fix the place up a little bit better. Uh, some more messes around here. Things that, the place is in flux again. It's, in, it's, just, it's just being changed again. So uh, there's, there's stuff all over the place. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll show you some new freaking finds that I just picked up. I just picked up some, a new freaking find. Uh, I still have to do some repairs and uh, uh, what you call uh, upgrades to it. Well, I upgrades, but uh, refurbishing it. There's still some refurbishing work to get done on it, but it's still it's it's in functional order. It's working. So for now, it's in its place where it's going to be for now. And then after that, uh, I, I think I can sh I should be able to do repairs in place as it, at where it's sitting right now. So, anyways, I'm going to leave that here. I'll talk to you guys in a bit and let you know what's going on uh, when I get up. <laughs> right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.